Well, as everybody already knows, every single 2018 rookie is starting to get their extension. DeAndre Ayton and the Phoenix Suns couldn't come to an agreement with one, so that's one to look out for. However, a lot of the rookies got themselves their extension. We did a Mikael Bridges rebuild the other day, so if you haven't checked that out, that would mean a lot. But today, we're going to one that I don't know if he kind of deserved his extension. He played, what, 12 games, it seemed, last season? Jaron Jackson's four-year, 102-point-something million-dollar contract. Yes, he has the potential to become a very, very good power forward slash center in the NBA. He can shoot the ball. He plays good defense. He has the potential to be someone very, very handy for this Memphis Grizzlies team. And also, I'm looking for an excuse to rebuild the Grizzlies. The NBA gave me one. So here we go. We're rebuilding the Memphis Grizzlies in NBA 2K22. Real quick, if you haven't subscribed, that would mean a lot. We're trying to hit 20k. I think we might have hit it by now. If we haven't, make sure you subscribe. Today, we're rebuilding the Memphis Grizzlies. Try and keep it as realistic as possible, I assume. Try and win a championship. We did, like I said, we did this with the Suns. You guys seem to like that, so we'll try our best. This team, as it is, I don't necessarily love Steven Adams alongside Ja Morant, but I'll run it for a season and see what's up. I love Dylan Brooks, Brandon Clark, Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman, all these young guys coming through. I love it. Jarrett Culver, I don't think he's going to be on this team for too much longer. I mean, he's got two years on his deal. If he can develop down in the G League, why not hold on to him? Same with uh, uh, Zaya Williams. We'll send him down to the G League. Maybe they develop for us into someone that we can use later on in the video. If we can do that, that would be absolutely amazing. I did move myself over here. That way you guys can actually see the minutes. But yeah, and then we have bring Kyle Anderson off the bench. I don't know if I like this. I want to start Kyle Anderson. So yeah, with Ja, Brooks, Anderson, Jaron Jackson, Steven Adams. We then have Brandon Clark, Tillman, Desmond Bain, and DeAnthony Melton. Also, Tyus Jones. As a rotation. Of course, naturally, John Moran's going to be our first scoring option. And the four-year, $100 million man, Jaron Jackson's going to be our second scoring option. I'll leave the third one to 2K to decide, basically. And Taylor Jenkins wants to run a balanced system. It is three and a half stars. It looks to be the best one we can get. Let's just see where we are projected. If we make playoffs this year, it's a W for us, to be fair. Projected 21st. Do we have our first round pick? Hopefully we do. We do indeed. It's unprotected. That's good. Let's see how we do. If we are bad, no biggie. Just another season to develop. All-star. We have zero. So that's great. Hey, yo, James. All right, chill, bro. I think this is the third video in a row. He's won MVP. We finished his ninth seed. We have to win two games to get into the uh, play-ins. We went 39 and 43. Don't necessarily love that, but at the same time, I said I wouldn't complain if we were bad. Jar dropped 27 and 7. Far out, Jar. Yeah, we got to give you your extension next year. Jaron Jackson, he gets 18 and 8, as we thought Jaron would do. You know what? I would like to make the playoffs. That'll be pretty cool. That's one step. We've got to beat the Phoenix Suns in a game, though. And I don't think we have the firepower to beat the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, no, we lost in the uh, second round of the play-ins. Which is upsetting, but we do get a lottery pick this year. Pelicans sweep the Sixers in the finals, by the way. Zion, finals MVP. I haven't seen the Pelicans win the championship first season either. Let's see how we do in the... We literally have the last pick. We have a 1% chance of getting the first round pick. We stay at 14, boys. However, what we are going to be doing, Steven Adams, bro, and this 14th pick. We also have the 19th pick because we had the Jazz first. So if we can maybe trade for a, maybe a better center. Because if we free up enough cap space, might be able to pull like James Harden or something and instantly become contenders. And if I'm playing this mentally, I want to give the Nets as much cap as possible. So I'm going to do this. Yes, we don't get a lot of value, but we do. We have two picks, which we can actually use to maybe help our depth. While we've got John Morant on a cheap deal, I want to bring in like a really good player. Moyav King. Don't know who you are, but sure. Sure, mate. Sure, that works for me. The Lakers picks in 25 and 26 might be handy, though. They might be. We will see what happens. Moyav King, welcome to the team, my boy. And team player options, Jar, Clark, Bain, and Culver all coming back. To be fair, I don't want any of these guys either. So does that mean we have enough cap space? Or we could, like, get Bradley Beal instead of Harden. We need to free up 5 mil, though. Bradley Mil Beal might be it, bro. Bradley Beal might be the guy. We need to free up 5 million to do so, which would mean Jarrett Culver we say bye-bye to, which I'm okay with. I didn't have big plans for him unless he progressed and he didn't progress. So if we go here, get that Cavs pick, and I think we have enough cap to try, go after Bradley Beal, bring him to Memphis. Do I give him a no trade clause? Yeah. You know what? Yes, we will, because I won't trade Bradley. If we can, if Bradley g does actually enter free agency, I will give him a no trade clause. So we got ourselves Bradley Beal, banger, right there, getting Bradley Beal onto this team though. A Bradley Beal and Ja Morant backcourt. 
Jeez. With Jaron Jackson in the front court with Dylan Brooks. Who, at the moment, we have Xavier Tillman as our starting center. We might need to upgrade that. But if we go to free agency, I think we still have a mid-level exception, which we'll pull in Daniel Tyson using a trade with someone to get ourselves better starting center. And, oh, we can also afford like a Lou Will. We can bring Tyus Jones back. You know what? That, we'll offer him a bit of money. I'll bring Tyus Jones back. And we've still got a mid-level exception that we can use. Robin Lopez. I know he's going to regress for us straight away, but if we quickly trade him, like sign him and then trade him away before he regresses. Like if we go over here, go uh, Tyson Lopez, maybe we can get ourselves a big that's decent, you know? Or just a DeAndre Hunter type player. That's big. <laughs> that's not really realistic, but big. We also have a whole lot of first round picks that we can actually use. So if we chuck this Cavs pick, because I know they're going to get pretty good. It's got two star value. I'm more looking for like someone who's making a lot of money then we can trade them straight away like Dwight Powell for a decent player. Literally everyone on this team has green arrows except Dwight Powell, which is fine. We're trading him anyway. I'm fine with these top four. Like I said, we're looking for a starting center. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, we traded Farrah Gordon. We traded Dwight Powell Farrah Gordon. And if we use that cap with, say, who aren't we going to be using? Probably, honestly, we're we're not going to be using that rookie that we literally just drafted. Oh, are we? Hold up. Let's have a proper look here. He's probably going to be our backup shooting guard. Okay. Yeah. He's probably going to be our backup shooting guard. I'm taking Macau Bridges because apparently he's available. So we'll take Macau. Pay him with McDaniels because we got Brandon Clark. We just don't need McDaniels. We got about 27 first round picks in the coming years. So we'll chuck in this Warriors first. Maybe a starting center instantly comes up. Valanchunas is not a bad option, though. I'm thinking Jonas Valanchunas is our starting center. Plus, we also get Keldon Johnson. Because if we do that, Keldon's, what, a small forward? Yeah. And our backup small forward at the moment is Desmond Bain. We don't need Desmond, then. Or James Burke Knight. So we've got a lot of young talent that we just don't need. So maybe if we then use this young talent to... So if we go Bain and... Burke Knight. I mean, James Burke Knight could be someone, which means we don't need King. Both of these players are under contract, so if they do progress, that'd be great. I don't think the G League is as broken this year as it has been, so we might not be able to send them down there. Right, Moran, Bill, Brooks, Jackson, and Valanchunas. Yes, we brought Valanchunas back to the Grizzlies. I only just realized. Keldon Johnson, Xavier Tillman, Brandon Clark, and James Burke Knight. And also, we've got Danny Green if we really wanted to, but I am going to run a nine-man this year, see what's up. They're actually going to give more minutes to Morant than Bill. I'm fine with that. I'm probably going to make Jaron Jackson our third scoring option this year then. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. So if I go Bill, Jar, actually, I think Jar's probably better as a uh, first scoring option. Not going to lie. So Jar, Bill, and then so Jar, Bill, and then Jaron Jackson are our three scoring options this year. Once again, we could stick to the balance system. Valanchunas knows what's up. Let's go. Four and a half stars. We'll run it. And this year, we're projected 10th. So if we can make at least a second round, it's a W for us. Still no all-stars. I did a little dancey dance and there was no all-stars. So... Bangers, my boy! We'll offer him the max with a player option. We'll offer that to him. He accepts that. That's beautiful. Dylan Brooks can re-sign as well. You know what? I'm going to try and save a little bit of money with Dylan. Three years, 13 mil. Bang, he's accepted that. Brandon Clark will also re-sign. I might also try and save a little bit of money with Brandon Clark. You know what I'm saying? I'll give him a seven mil two-year contract. Two sounds good. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Desmond Bain refuses to re-sign. It's fine. You have to come back next year anyway. Cool, because uh, Kelton Johnson might not be coming back. We might not be able to re-sign him. Desmond Bain, you're coming back on this team. Bro. Giannis, hey mate, I see you, bro. Hey, 61 and 21, we win coach of the year. You know how it is. We're, we're good, bro. Watch us still not have an all, all, all NBA player, though. Didn't have an all star, so that would make sense. Yeah, we didn't get an all NBA player. Bruh, we had 61 wins and we didn't even have an all star. Get out of here, 2K. 26.8, 4, and almost 10 a night for Jar. My boy, and a steal a game. Then Brad came in, 25, 3.6, and 5.3, doing his team. And then Jaron Jackson. You know, 17.5. Is that the best he's done in his career? Ah, uh, it's the same amount he averaged last season. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Keldon was a good part of this team. Same with Valentinus. He was a good pickup. Let's go. Let's see what's up. Who are we versing in the first round? The Utah Jazz. For reals, fam. They've still got Mike, Donovan. They've brought in Norm Powell, which I actually don't mind. I mean, they don't have Joe Ingles anymore because I'm assuming he retired. First game is a W, and then let's go around, and uh, we win in six games. We got the Denver Nuggets in the second round. I don't love that. Not gonna lie, I don't love it. We should be able to compete, though. Game one is an L. We've won game two, so we've pulled it back. Game three, we've won. We're up 2-1 now. We're up 3-1, and we win in five games. Who are we taking on? We're taking... Bro, can't we just take on someone nice, please? Easy. They've How the fuck do they have DeAndre Ayton? How have they got DeAndre Ayton then? How have they done that? How have they gone and done that then, 2K? We'll lose in six. I'll say we'll lose in six. Well, we won game one. We won game two. We're up 3-0. Oh. How have we... How have we won 
in five games. You know what? Let's just not complain. Oh, fuck off, man. Just fuck off. I take it. Look, Kyle Anderson went to the Nets. We decided not to re-sign him because we brought in Bradley Bill. You know, makes sense. Bradley Bill, all-star caliber player, elite scorer, worth it bringing to the Memphis Grizzlies. However, they goes to the fucking Nets. This time we'll lose in six. Maybe even five. Or four, you know? Who knows? We might just lose it. Gonna be five. Okay, maybe uh, a miracle could happen. That'd be pretty cool if a miracle happened. I don't think it'll happen, though. Just, just gonna stick it out there. I don't think this miracle's gonna happen. We won by a point to force a game six. I'm gonna change the rotation up a little bit. I don't know how we're still in this, by the way. How are we still in this game? Let's go 40% to the bench. Your bench utilization. We're giving our starters a whole lot of minutes, my guy. Simcast, my bro. We're away from home. We're not in Memphis. We had the better record, but it is the fucking Nets. And 2K realizes they haven't won a championship yet in this sim, so they're gonna try and give them one, aren't they? We lost by 42. We choked. We fucking choked, bro. If I can bring everyone back, I'm just gonna run it back, see what happens for the third season, I reckon. So our top earners are Bill Morant, Jackson, Valanchunas, and Brooks. That's our starting five. So our money's put well into these players. Valanchunas, I think, is on a very, very steal of a deal, so I don't wanna trade him. Brandon Clark is a decent backup player. We got Ma um, this guy, King. I mean, I probably shouldn't analyze our rotation too much until we've brought everyone back. Are we able to afford Keldon? We do have actually got bird rights on him, so we'll tr we'll bring Keldon Johnson back. We don't need Dante Exum, Patrick McCaw, or Danny Green. So, yeah, we'll bring him back, and then we can evaluate our roster. So, we've got... We don't really have a backup point. I mean, we've got Bradley Beal who can play point guard minutes, but we don't really have a backup point, which is what we might need. So we could potentially trade Moab and Bane. Because at the moment, Kelton Johnson is going to be our starting small forward. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can run that. So if I go Desmond Bane and King, we need a starting, a backup point guard, should I say. Davion Mitchell from the Kings. Perfect. I like it. We'll go to progression now. Valentinus actually went down in overall. It's not what I was looking for, you know. It's not great. I would like to keep Valentinus on this team, but it's not what I wanted at all. You know what? I'm going to trade for Christian Wood as our starting center. I'm doing that. I'm going to bring Christian Wood in as our starting center. Actually, they want to start Tillman and bring Wood off the bench. Okay, I'm fine with that as well. So at the moment, we're running a Moran, Bill, Johnson, Jackson, and Tillman starting five with Mitchell, Wood, Brooks, and Burke Knight, and also Brandon Clark off the bench. Morant, Bill, and Jackson are still our three scoring options. And we're still running a balanced system. Okay, we'll run it. See what happens. If we can make the finals again, win the championship. Done a W. We've finally done it, boys. We've got an all-star. We've got a fucking all-star. John Morant, what's up, my guy? Hey, yo, what up, KD? I see you, fella. Ah, uh, we, we went from the one seed last year to the seventh seed this year with a 44 and 38 record. I swear, if we... Please don't tell me we're losing again. This will be the third video in a row that I've just been disappointed with. What happened to Jar, man? What happened to him dropping 27 a night? All right, we're switching to our playoff rotation, my boys. Nine man, 40%. Bang, bang, let's go. Simulate through a game. Okay, we made it. We made the playoffs, thank God. Whew. We made the playoffs as a seventh seed. We're taking on the Timberwolves. Interesting. They've got Tomas Sadoransky as their starting point guard. However, we're versing fucking DeAndre Ayton again. <laughs> we win game one. We lost game two. We lost game three. We won game four. We won game five. Boys, we're the seventh seed and we made it to the second round. Jeez. And we're taking on the sixth seeded Kings. They still got Fox Halliburton. They brought in Macau Bridges. Okay. They've got Amani Bates as well. Let's see what happens for this first game. We do talk. Take a dub. We lose. We win. We lose. We win. We win. We're through the Western Conference Finals as a seventh seed, my guy. We're taking on the one seeded Thunder, who still have Shea Giddy and Wenamayma. Oh. <laughs> Let's just have a look. Lose game one. We won game two somehow. We lost game three. We lost game four. We're on the ropes here, boys. We're on the fucking ropes. We're on the ropes. We're on the ropes. This Memphis Grizzly team, we are on the ropes. We're giving 42 minutes to Jar, bro. Maybe we can pull off a comeback. We need to win three in a row, though. I don't think we have it in us, not gonna lie. I don't think we can win three in a row against this Thunder team when we're very close in this game. Two minutes to go, tied game. We're up. Oh, it's tied again. We're up by three. Oh, oh now they're up by two. How are... Do we have the ball? We better have the fucking ball. So Bill turned it over. Bradley Bill turned the ball over with eight seconds to go. He missed the three-pointer and then turned it over. And that's what's going to lose us the game, isn't it? We won the game. How did we win the game? How did we win the game? How did we win it? How did we win it? How did we win it? Bill, close jump shot. He made up for his fuck up. We brought it home. We had two seconds to get a shot. The jump shot was made. We've done it. Oh, we still need to win. We still need to win two more games in a row here. I don't see how that's possible. 
But, you know, may maybe we can do it. I believe. No, I don't. I Honestly, I don't believe. However, we have slaughtered them there. We forced the Game 7 to go to the NBA Finals. Can we do it? Can we miraculously come back from a 3-1 deficit? No, probably not. Oh my god, it's close again. Why is it always close, 2K? Ah! Oh. Ah, tied. We're down by two. We're down by four with 16 seconds. We're done. I think that's the third video in a row now. I think that's the third video in a row, boys. I might have to do a video where I win, try and win a champ. Don't stop until I win a championship. Might take me four years, not gonna lie. We did it. put together a Morant, Bill, Jaron Jackson, Davion Mitchell, Christian Wood, Dylan Brooks, Xavier Tillman. We kept the young core together as best as we could. Although Memphis's young core is very young. Let's be honest. It's very young and very deep. They have a lot of young players that they we could have potentially used. We did trade a few of them to try and get better. And it turns out we lose in seven games in the Western Conference Finals. Anyway, if you haven't, subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. I'm gonna leave it here. That'll be it. Yeah, let's do it. How have I lost this many games in a row, bro? I think this is the fourth video in a row. God damn, bro.